The Galaxy S26 Ultra is already shaping up to be one of the most talked about phones of 2026, and now a new report has made things even more interesting. For years, the Ultra models were known for having Snapdragon processors everywhere in the world. No matter where you bought the phone, you could rely on Snapdragon power. But this time, Samsung may take a very different path. Reports say that even the Galaxy S26 Ultra could be powered by Samsung's own Exynos 2600 chip instead of Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Elite to dot this would be a huge change. If you look at the last few Ultra phones, Samsung followed a clear pattern. The Galaxy S23 Ultra shipped with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. The S24 Ultra used the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. And the Galaxy S25 Ultra had the Snapdragon 8 Elite. Customers loved this because they didn't have to worry about the Exynos versus Snapdragon debate. With the Ultra, they always got the best chip available. In contrast, Samsung's non-Ultra models often had Exynos processors in some regions. And while Exynos chips have slowly improved, they always carried a reputation for being weaker. People said they had less raw power, used more battery, and sometimes overheated. That's why many users preferred Snapdragon versions whenever possible. The Ultra became the safe option, the one model guarantee to deliver Snapdragon's performance dot, so the idea that the S26 Ultra could come with an Exynos processor is surprising. According to the Korea Herald, all Galaxy S26 models, from the base version to the Ultra, may use the Exynos 2600. This shows a major shift in Samsung's strategy. Now the big question is, why would Samsung do this? And is it the right move? The Galaxy S26 is expected in January 2026, which is still months away. That means leaks can change, so nothing is confirmed yet. But there are reasons this move makes sense. The Exynos 2600 isn't just another chip. It's being made on Samsung's new 2 nanometer process. Most other flagship chips today, like the Snapdragon 8 Elite, are still made on 3 nanometer technology. Smaller manufacturing processes usually mean better performance and efficiency. If Samsung has really mastered to nanometers, this could put them ahead of the competition. Exynos chips have always struggled to match Snapdragon in raw power and heat management, but early signs suggest the 2600 may finally turn the tables. On Geekbench, the Exynos 2600 scored 3,309 in single-core and 11,256 in multi-core tests. These results are stronger than the Snapdragon 8 Elite and even rival Apple's iPhone 16 Pro chip in single-core performance. In multi-core tests, the Exynos 2600 even beats Apple's chip. If these numbers translate into real-world performance, Samsung could be back on top dot to solve the heating issue. Samsung is adding a new thermal system called the Heat Path Block. This should keep the phone stable during heavy use and prevent overheating. That's one of the biggest complaints about past Exynos chips, so fixing it is key. Another big step is graphics. Instead of relying on AMD's designs like before, Samsung is now building its own GPU. They even hired a former Huawei GPU leader to guide development. This new in-house GPU gives Samsung more control over performance tuning. The first version may not be groundbreaking, but it sets the stage for big improvement in the future. From Samsung's point of view, this strategy makes sense. If their in-house chip is finally stronger, why pay Qualcomm by using their own chip across the entire lineup? Samsung could cut costs, control production better, and show the world that it doesn't need to rely on outside companies. But there's a challenge, convincing customers. Many buyers still see Snapdragon as the gold standard. For years, Exynos had a weaker reputation, and that image won't vanish overnight. Even if the 2600 is technically stronger, Samsung has to prove it in real use. When the Galaxy S26 launches in January, all eyes will be on the Exynos 2600. Will Samsung's big gamble pay off? Or will people regret losing Snapdragon in the Ultra? One thing's for sure, this launch will be one of the most exciting in years.